Nick and I met um, a Sunday at a friend of mine's church. Um, it was winter break, and he had come over to like talk to her and like hear about how she was doing. Then really wanted to just ask me some questions. So I think the first thing that she said to me, uh, honestly, I can't remember what exactly it was. Um, but I'm confident that she would have definitely been asking me questions and wanting to know what I did, what I was doing, what I was studying, what I was interested in, because she does that with people. She's much more interested in asking about them. Um, I probably didn't say much. <laughs> I remember that he talked a lot, and then I was just listening um, and asking questions. Uh, and I think it goes to show the fact that I don't remember um, what she first said. Uh, is kind of a, a comparison of perhaps I was so focused on trying to impress her and, and say interesting things and smart things to her. So I remember that he asked me like kind of like what I majored in at UVA and some questions like that. Trying to figure out exactly who she was and then I was so excited to learn that we both went to school together. We knew so many of the same people yet we'd never seen each other uh, before and then all the time thinking how have I not seen her before? Um, because I definitely would have remembered had I run across her before. It was really brief, but our first real conversation I remember was a bit later. And I just remember being very impressed by the way that he thought through things, the way that he thought about the world and people. Um, yeah, that was kind of the first interest. Quickly learning that she's artistic and she plays music and she sings. That winter night fell from the sky and found myself a new home. First thing that I thought, that I do remember. So we were at my home church and so I was on one side of the sanctuary and she was on the other and I actually saw her through through people, sort of like silhouetted or she was she was framed between people's shoulders and, and heads and so I and I only saw her through these people. The first thing I thought was who is that? I thought Who's that? <laughs> the second thought was someone that good looking could not possibly uh, be single. She definitely had to be married, this new person at church that I didn't know. Which is funny because we were in church and it's not normally my first thought. <laughs> and then third was I should probably stop thinking about this because I'm at church. Um, the first thing I noticed about Nick is it was definitely the way that he dressed and the way that he moved through space. Being a dancer, I just really noticed the way people carry themselves and was just very impressed by his just like kind of persona. The first thing that I noticed about her, she is very distinct, very unique looking. She's tall, she has large blue eyes, beautiful brown hair. I also noticed how she dressed, uh, of course, but then I think it's more so than that. It's rather the way that she carries herself and just is showing genuine interest in, in who she's interacting with. A reflection of me, I suppose. But I said, look at that one, how it glitters. Or how that one dances with the breeze. Well, we met end of January. He asked me out on a date on February 14th. It was it was strange that even though we knew so many of the same people and went to some of the same events, we had never seen each other before. But as soon as we had met, we started seeing each other often. At that point, relationships were the last thing on my mind. But I couldn't get his face out of my head, and I was really annoyed, actually. And there was just there was this very distinct feeling that I got. It said something along the lines of, I. I want to get to know her. This this is different. This is something that's definitely worth the effort. She's worth the effort. No one else like you. There may be millions three words to describe Nick. I would say he's a communicator. The three words that I would use to describe Anne would be beautiful. Just very good at drawing people out about communicating his thoughts and about encouraging good communication between people. Genuine? I would say um, he's goofy. He's so funny and makes me laugh all the time. And joyful. And I would say he's very present. He's always 
aware of what's going on and how the people around him are feeling. The favorite, my favorite thing about Anne. My favorite thing about Nick. Is her desire for life. She does desire to, to live life to the fullest, to realize that life is primarily about relationships and that there is goodness and beauty and truth. Um, well, he has such a big heart. I love that I can see that whenever he smiles, his eyes crinkle up and it's just beautiful. She has this unflagging spirit and joy that, that sometimes is, is confusing to someone who can be as cynical as I can be, um, but it's inspiring and she definitely inspires me and I really am starting to realize that I didn't really live life until I met Anne. I've always been a Every piece of glass you shed